does it sort of blow your mind to think that if someone had told Will in 2016 that five years later he was going to the Olympics, he probably wouldn't have believed it? Oh, yeah, definitely I wouldn't have believed it. To be honest, 2016 was a pretty rough year for myself. When <laughs> the Olympics was on, I was studying at um, Waikato University for the first half of the year. Uh, it wasn't going so well. I was playing AFL actually, I wasn't playing rugby. I sort of quit rugby after high school. Yeah, midway through the year I was over university and had some uh, mental health things that come. Oh, I had to battle with through the year, which ended up uh, making me move home with my parents, back home with my parents, and no, it wasn't a good year for me. So 2018, um, I, I, was, I was sort of in a position with myself where I didn't know what I wanted to do, what, what I wanted to do with my sports, if I wanted to keep sort of chasing the dream or start looking for a career. So I scrolling on Facebook and um, I seen an ad for it, so I was like, oh, just throw my name into the mix. So I wouldn't be lying if I was just going for the gears and a week off work, so, because I was working at the time, so it was a good excuse to get a week off work and get some free kit. But um, even heading into that, my parents knew that like I had a had some had some potential, I guess, or they just don't want to see me waste it and just stay at home and sort of let it let it pass. So that's like many of the people back home. They were even the senior players in my club team and even my mates. They always talk about you no, know, don't get, get don't get caught in the trap back home. They, they talk about a lot of talent there that sort of they never reach their potential sort of thing. So I keep pushing, I guess. I sort of wanted to respect the opportunity, so I still like wanted to compete hard and whatnot. I'm still sort of coming to terms with it now, to be honest, and I don't. Uh, I think it's slowly sinking in, but it's still pretty surreal. So heading into the meeting with the coaches, I I wasn't really expecting a lot. To be honest, um, I even before I packed my bags to come to Townsville, I, I, I sort of packed the minimum if that makes sense. So it wasn't a lack of confidence probably in myself, but it was more the respect you had with your teammates because. It's a pretty competitive environment. And when they sort of told me the news, I, I had to ask them again, like to repeat it, to process the information. And they carried on talking. Uh, I can't remember what they said for the rest of the one-on-one, -on -one, to be honest, because I was just crying the whole time. Um, it was pretty emotional. Uh, and yeah, just sort of had to sit there and let it sink in a bit. We got a family group chat and my phone called, video called them. It wasn't as smooth, smooth as I thought because the Wi-Fi was playing up so it kept buffering when I was telling them. But uh, once I told them it was pretty uh, it was pretty cool just to sort of be on the phone with them and share with them and I think they were wishing they could just be here with me and sort of just share that moment with me as well. But they're always proud of me and very supportive of me with my journey and stuff but just to share that with them they were pretty, I think they were pretty speechless and yeah it was, just, it was a nice moment to have. And it sort of makes you reflect on a lot.